oh, such a day. And today is Saturday the 27th of March, 2021. This is the Saturday wrap for that date. It's a satirical, if slightly censored, look back on that week. Tech, IT, politics with a small p, and due to the nature of my job, I'm actually in Perda for the Welsh elections, which are in May. Yeah. So, um, if it's Wales, it'll be factual. There will be no commentary. If it's for the UK or Europe or the world or outer space even, then there will be commentary. Because, you know, do things right. Anyway, yeah, I should tell you, this is actually take number two. Here's the trick. Do not set your microphone to be headset and then not put the headset on. It was really good. Except you couldn't hear anything. Well, you could just about, but mm, not really what you were looking for. So, to start off with, I had, and I had to fish this out of the bin, um, Stop Molting by the Dobbs, Dobbs? Yeah, it's good. Uh, Dogs Window Brewery. They are from Bridgend, purchased in Bedworth at the Well Drawn Brewery, keeping things local, or as Camera would say, a drink local. It was really good. Hop forward, nice and bitter up front. Um, four point something alcohol by volume, but B plus plus and a bit. Worth hunting out. It was the first time I've had anything from their brewery. And it won't be the last. They are really, really good. Anyway, so the look back and um, the word or phrase of the week. Vaccine politics. Now, you may have hoped, I certainly did, that the main aim for all political organisations would be to get vaccine in the arms for all those people who wanted it. And to do that as quickly as possible. There are obviously some people who don't want it. And I saw something on Twitter. Um, the difference between those who get it and those who don't those who don't fill up hospitals more quickly. Everything in life is about taking a chance and judging risks. You do whatever you want. Uh, I'm on the first of AstraZeneca in, from Newbridge. And they did a really good job, as I think I said last week. Um, all my um, side effects, which was just basically like a sore puncture wound, completely gone. Hopefully the second one will be fine as well. We shall see. Anyway, um, things are not going well on the vaccine front in the UK, in Europe, worldwide. Um, lots of arse covering from what I can see. Uh, yeah, no. Just do it. Get on with it. And open the pubs. Uh, in England, obviously. Um, so, uh, last week. Well, after this last week, um, I was having a look on the internet about an electric tyre pump. I can't remember the last time I did it. I think it was before Christmas. And because I have a foot pump, which has double barrels, I thought it wouldn't take long. It did take long. It took ages. Yeah. Um, so I've been looking at getting an electric tyre pump. Um, but you find one and then it says something like, it's good, it's good, it's good, broke down first time I used it. And so because of the uh, confused reviews, I decided not to get one. And on Sunday, out with my pressure gauge to pump up the tyres. It took ages. And one thing that I learned don't have your earbuds in as you're doing it. The connector that goes from the pump to the tyre valve. If you have your earbuds on and you haven't put it on properly and the thing is leaking air, it doesn't matter how much you pump it, 
Tell your soul goes down. I'm an idiot. Uh, right, anyway, so I was out there for ages, and then the guy in the house next to where I was parked put his head over the fence and said, do you want to borrow my electric tyre inflator? I bit his hand off. Unexpected kindness. He pumped one up for me and I said, there you are, you can do the rest. Mm. And it was great. And the next thing I did, after I cleaned my hands of all the brake dust, was to get on Amazon. And it arrived next day and I tested it. It was only 12 quid. That was really good. Now, whether it will last or not is another matter. Um, but I didn't spend ages and ages and ages pumping the thing up. Although I suppose you could put that down for fitness and that would be good. Anyway, he saved me a lot of time. And uh, if you read the reviews, don't worry about the ones that you have to screw on rather than they clip onto the valve. Screwing on, much better. Especially if you're wearing earbuds. Wearing earbuds even. Stops the air coming out. Although you have to over pump a little bit because uh, you lose a little bit when you take it off. Thank you for being kind. It was really nice. Anyway, um, politics in Wales. On Monday, supermarkets could sell anything they wanted to. Um, shops who this uh, was supposed to stop putting them out of business, um, non-essential shops, uh, haven't reopened yet. Although I went to Aldi's and there was some compost. 40 litres for £2.79. In the shallow trolleys, put one of those in there, rest of my stuff. Really good. Really appreciated it. Although having said that, um, the click and collect in B&Q, that's not such a bad thing either. I like that. Hmm. Actually, I do like Aldi. Ah, right. So, yeah, um, straight on to Amazon. Bought the tyre pump, 12 quid, came the next day. I think I said that. I can't remember. But whatever you say about Amazon is they actually do the job. It's written on the tin what they do, and they do it. And they've got good returns as well. And I know a lot of people criticise them, and there's been a lot in the news this week about having to urinate into bottles in the United States. And I wouldn't be surprised in the UK as well. They work. I think all the taxes go back by uh, Luxembourg. Hmm. Never mind. There you go. Um, so, planting potatoes. The tubers which have been chitting out in the back lobby. Um, I waited until Tuesday because there was frost uh, Sunday into Monday. I think there was frost on... Well, almost frost on Tuesday. Um, compost in um, 16 tubers planted, compost over the top, lots of water, because uh, they like being a bit damp to start off uh, germinating. I was going to do some more on Wednesday, but that was a bit cold overnight, so Thursday another six went in. So we're up to a grand total of 22 tubers. Uh, they are called Premier. They are not even first earlies, a very first earlies. And they're from McCain, as in the frozen chips. And they're especially for chip eaters, which I kind of am. Um, actually, I had some, I had some blue Danube out of the garden last week. I finally I finished digging it. And there were lots of potatoes left there. And some of them in pretty good shape. Blue Danube, they're Hungarian, sort of uh, purplish skin, make excellent chips. Well, I like them anyway. However, my father's not keen on them because he likes um, um, just boiled potatoes and they turn to mush. I've never had that problem because I've only chipped them because chips are the way forward. Anyway, um, moving on, Coinbase, um, which IPO'd this week, I think. Was it last week? Anyway, um, some more free altcoins. UMA, which uh, derivatives. In I went like the wind. Um, do the quiz, get a couple of bobs worth. They went up straight away. Um, I was having a look at, because um, Bitcoin 
went down and most of the market tends to follow Bitcoin. I wanted some Filecoin. It sank a little yesterday and I was thinking, oh, overnight it might sink a little bit more, get 10 quid's worth. This morning it was up by 30 odd percent. Hmm. Not exactly buying the dip has a good job. I um well I, I want them to go back down. Um, however, they're a bit volatile to buyers. Well, as a stable coin, that's a good job they're not. He says, burbling on incomprehensively. Anyway, um, back to local politics. Um, from today, you can travel anywhere in Wales, although not outside Wales unless it's essential travel. However, traveling in Wales does not lead you to open pubs or anytime soon. We are unaware currently of when they will open, which is a bit of a disappointment. Although breweries are still open, as in uh, the well-drawn brewery in Bedworth yesterday where I popped in for my beer. As I mentioned, alliteration. Mm, English pubs uh, open from the 12th of April, but from outside. And there has been lots of consternation about passports for going into pubs i don't think it's a good idea um and i can tell you this for a start it's probably as soon as they reopen for outside drinking it's probably going to hammer down which will be of course good for my uh, germinating potatoes i don't know about germinating because they're already there but who knows it's all very complex. Anyway, to finish off, on a Friday, new episodes of For All Mankind, the alternative history of the moon landing, series two, uh, Apple TV Plus, which I had, I've got a year's worth for free without actually purchasing a new Apple device. That can't be right, but it is. Um, the second series, well, the first five episodes, slow. In fact, you could have cut them in half. The sixth episode, Marines on the Moon, M16s on the Moon. The thing really getting to go. Everything coming together. I think it's going to be really, really good from now on. Not that it wasn't before, but it was a bit... Mm, or such like. Anyway, um, plenty of groups around, plenty of podcasts and uh, plenty of reviews worth searching out. Although I've got to be honest, Apple TV Plus, I don't know if I would pay for it. Um, for All Mankind, excellent. The film Greyhound is on there. Um, Ted Lasso is supposed to be fairly good, but I'm not altogether sure about the rest of the stuff. Um, but it is all originals. So uh, that's it with the headset actually on this time <sighs> to upload. Um, uh, thank you for the kind comments on last week that I had. Um, it'll be on most of the social medias. Um, uh, positive and negative comments. Welcome, although uh, be gentle and be kind-ish. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. I must stop bouncing up and down on this chair because it's making the camera shake um happy easter everybody and let's see if the button actually turns this thing off bye bye mm -hmm.